Hello and welcome back to the program. Well, we're now going to talk about an event that's taking place on Okaloosa Island at the beginning of March. It's actually the first uh, Saturday in March, on March 2nd. It's a great event that they've had out there for several years. Uh, and it's put on by WSRE in the Gulf area. Joining me now to talk about that is Chrissy Nettles with WSRE. Chrissy, thank you so much for coming on the program Thanks tonight. for having me, and let me talk about our Gulfarium Day. It's WSRE's PBS Kids and Family Day, as and, you said, March 2nd. And yeah. it's always a great time. You know, it's a lot of fun activity. I mean, the Gulfarium itself is great, and you guys add to it. So uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail in a second. I do want to talk a little bit, though, about WSRE. Uh, a lot of people, I'm sure, have seen it, maybe in their channel sure. lineup, or they're, they're aware that it's there and it's a channel, but they might not really know what you guys are all about. Okay. So can you give us a little, uh, just kind of a synopsis of who is WSRE and what do you guys do? Absolutely. WSRE is PBS for the Gulf Coast. So our signal goes from west of Mobile, east of Destin, north of Atmore, Alabama, and uh, I'm so grateful that Cox carries WSRE, Absolutely. so people can see our excellent quality programming. But we're more than a, just a, a television station. Mm -hmm. We're also a nonprofit, and we've been in the community for 50 years, I'm proud to wow. say, almost 51. And our mission is to educate, entertain, and engage. And this Gulfarium event is such a great opportunity for that. We try to have a lot of free events at the studio. Mm -hmm. We've got next Tuesday our public square speaker. We'll have Jack Davis, a Pulitzer Prize winner, talking about the golf. And that is his book about the history of the Gulf and how people in mm -hmm. Pensacola started looking at the effluent and the environment and things like that. Um, and we'll have some people who are, are veterans of those days in Pensacola, the fishermen, who mm -hmm. started seeing those changes. And uh, so that's a free event in our Gene and Paul Amos television studios, where we film Studio Amped, which is mm -hmm. another fun Absolutely. show that you guys carry. We're having our new season right now. So we do community events. We try to take our programming and really bring it down where you see something on TV and, and you can really make that come alive when mm -hmm. you come to one of our events. So. Yeah, you got and y'all you have uh, you know Studio Amp, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, and a lot of the other stuff, and then a lot of the kids shows as well in the morning. And you know, I grew up on a lot of them, so I'm sure a lot of other people did. Um, <clears throat> but that allows you to kind of bring that to the Gulf Area Kids Day. So it does. Let's talk a little bit about that. So uh, the Kids and Family Day at Gulf Area, I've done it for several years this now. This is our fifth year. Fifth year. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's hard to believe. It's already five years. <laughs> but uh, so tell me a little bit about you know what people can expect. Okay. Um, starting with with you guys first, what y'all are bringing to the Gulf Area, and then we'll talk about the Gulf Area a little bit more detail after Sounds that. like a plan. We try to bring different characters mm -hmm. every year because we do have people that this has become an annual event for them and we're so grateful to see them. Sometimes they bring their infants five years in. Maybe you're watching some different shows on yeah. PBS Kids. Right. Last year we had Splash and Bubbles and Curious George. Mm. This year we have, yeah, those were... Curious <laughs> George. Loved Curious George. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get into too much trouble at the Gulf area. Right? <laughs> but this year we're doing a steam focus and so we decided to, um, because that's uh, something that's popular in schools, people are mm -hmm. embracing those concepts so we have nature cat we have peg plus cat mm -hmm. and we have clifford the big red dog so those characters will be there kids can meet them take their picture with them sure. kind of see them coming off the screen and into the community like we said really making those programs come alive yeah. and it's like elvis is in the building sometimes when you are a big <laughs> fan of one of these shows really i, I would have waited hours to meet mr rogers or curious george oh, absolutely when I was a kid. <laughs> absolutely or big bird or oh, any of the others yeah absolutely, absolutely. yeah uh, so not only will we have the characters, but we'll be bringing our mobile imagination station. Okay, good. And those are our kiosks where we bring Florida's pu PBS public learning media down where kids can do hands-on activities. And mm -hmm. we use those characters. All of the PBS kids shows really take a long time to develop. They are trying to target specific things that we want to bring into these, this early learning environment. Mm -hmm. So social and emotional skills. Um, Daniel Tiger is big on that. Kind of mm -hmm. getting over your fears and being a good neighbor and learning how to deal with your emotions and yeah. what's constructive and how to be around people. With Nature Cat, really exploring your own backyard, which is something we're so lucky to have around mm -hmm. here. Um, so much opportunity for discovery. Peg Plus Cat is just a really fun animated show about math concepts and bringing them into these small visual pieces where kids can take these abstract concepts, um, like what is a number, how do you add that, how do you multiply that, mm -hmm. and maybe she'll have a, a yard full of baby chickens. And some are here and some are there and they've got to corral them. And so that's just a concrete way yeah. to get some of those concepts. 
and Clifford the Big Red Dog. Everybody oh, knows Clifford. Just tender and a gentle soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son loved Clifford. We had all the books and watched all the shows and everything else when he was a little little kid. They, I'm sure he wouldn't mind me saying that now. He's in high school. That, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. And yeah, you know what? Absolutely. He can secretly watch Clifford. Yeah, because we've got some new Clifford episodes coming. Some go. new programs coming out this that's year. That's perfect. Um, so uh, we got about a minute left, but okay. at, at, at uh, the Golfarium itself. Um, what is the cost to get in? You know, it kind, of, it kind of can give me a quick rundown on once people get there, what they can do and what they can see. Okay, I'm going to send your viewers to golfarium.com because they'll have different. Um, it's just their regular admission, and okay. they share a portion of the proceeds with us. There's okay. no extra fee to come in, but we'll be there also with hands-on activities, and then you're free to go inside and outside, not just to engage with the PBS kids and family characters, mm -hmm. but also everything the Golfarium has to offer: the sea lion shows, the dolphins, mm -hmm. the staff that is so well educated and invested in making sure that we know everything we can about sea turtles. Dolphins, um, their rays, their incredible yeah. tanks. They've just had a big makeover, and it is beautiful inside. Yeah, it, if you it, haven't seen it lately, I was about to say, people, if y'all haven't been to the Gulf area lately or ever, I, I strongly encourage you to go and go on March second for, for for the uh, PBS Kids and Family Day, Saturday well, from ten to two on March second. Mm -hmm. Chrissy, thank you so much for coming on the program. Thanks I for having it. me, and let me talk about WSRE. Absolutely. Stay mm -hmm. with us when we come back. We'll be in our Fort Walton Beach studio to talk about the Triple B.